With warm temperatures over the weekend, families seem to be looking for outdoor activities. Get out of the house. We've been cooped up too long all winter. <laughs> For many families, that meant a trip to Gobin's farm. You know, this morning I think is the busiest morning that we've ever had. Our first weekend was typical given the weather conditions, but today is a beautiful day and people all seem to be tired of being at home, so they're all coming to Gobin's. Every spring, Gobin's opens their farm to the public so families can play with the newborn farm animals. They have lambs, piglets, chicks, goats, and even a foal. What's your favorite? Um, Chickens. The cow. The cow? Yeah. I think her name is cow. Lamb. Um, lamb. Yeah, yes. she really liked the lambs and the chickens. This is the most exciting time of year that we have, and it's invigorating for us too because we've just come to love educating the public about agriculture. Over the past decade, the farm has taken pride in more than just raising animals. Our farm has really turned into an educational farm. We opened it up to the public because people need to make a connection with where their food comes from. Govin says he likes giving visitors the experience of a family farm. Very much a family farm. My sister's working in the barn, my kids are working in the barn. It's just a, a great way to spend some family time. The last weekend to visit the baby animals is April 5th and 6th. In the summer, Govins opens six acres of strawberries up to the public for berry picking. For Inside Eau Claire, with Jessica Sharpie, I'm Ellen Matilla.